morning. Um, today we're going to be looking at a different way of doing a response to Victoria Seema. We've done the storm in the teacup on lesson four. And now for lesson five, we're going to have a look at doing these rotated geometric shapes in the sky that create an illusion of like a mirror effect. Okay, I'll show you how we're going to do that straight away. So we've got Photoshop. Um, we need to find a one of our pictures. So we'll go to our Google Drive. We will find our pictures that we have saved. So if we look at the saved pictures, look in the example folder. I'll use one of my sunrises. So I think the most effective one for this will be this one. This one. So what we'll do, we'll use the snipping tool to pop it into Photoshop. And then we'll go to Photoshop, go File, New, look for Clipboard, go Create, then press Control V. There is our picture of a landscape. It needs to be a landscape for this task to work. Then we are going to select our shape tool and we are going to carefully draw a geometric shape in this case a circle over part of the image once we've got it where we want it we are going to go edit copy edit paste or we could alternatively say control c control v we now see we have a small section of the sky cut out and then we will go to the move tool we will then rotate it by moving the mouse see how it changes from a cursor to an enlarger to a rotator and we will rotate part of the image all the way around so that it's now upside down and it looks like it is floating in the sky press enter we'll then move it up slightly so that it looks like we have a mirror now, what we need to do now is fade out this bottom edge so that it looks like it's appearing out of nowhere. And to do that, we go back to our old favorite, the soft edge large rubber. Make sure it's very large. And what we want to do is zoom out slightly on the screen. So we'll press Control minus to zoom out the image. See how large this eraser is now. We just move it so it touches the bottom of the circle make sure we're on the right layer. If we go wrong, press Control alt z and we'll go back. So click on the layer with the picture in it. Click on it now and it will start very gently to fade out the image. Now we want to make it look like there is part of the circle is coming out of the sea. And you can see now we have achieved that. So if I zoom back in, you can now see it almost looks like there's two sunrises going on. We've got a double horizon. Have an experiment with that and see what you can produce aesthetically using different shapes. Now, what I'll do is I'll hide the eye on that. There's another way. You can also do the polygon lasso tool. And I can draw the kind of like a fit upside down figure M shape. So we go like that, and like that, and then we go down like that, and then up like that. Okay, same situation, make sure on the right layer. So we go Control C, Control V, copying it. We then move to the rotate tool. We'll make sure on the right layer. We rotate it. And you see we have a different shape now, creating a different effect. Again, we can then move that into the sky area. Maybe move it over to there, click OK. And then again, using that soft edge eraser, and zooming out slightly, we can then fade out the corners. So it looks like the shape is coming out of the sea. So you can see that there are two different versions. We have the circular version, and we have a shaped version. Okay. Experiment, have fun, and um, 
Look forward to seeing you next time on Photoshop Lessons. Okay, goodbye.